Thank you for turning to page 121. Today I'm going to take a look at tech level or technology level as used in Traveler. It's always been one of my, the parts of Traveler I've enjoyed more simply because it gives a nice thumbnail of what levels everybody would be at technologically based on the world. I'm going to show how it's changed from this in 1977 to this in 2022. We're going to take a look at tech levels in both of these products since they represent the beginning and the current of Traveler and we're going to see how tech level applies to your game. All right, technology level or tech level as I'll be calling it throughout the video refers to the level of technology available at large to a society or the tech level at which something was built. So for instance, a tech level 12 spaceship would have tech level 12 equipment and software and things like that on board whereas a tech level 15 would have higher more sophisticated technology applying it's a great thumbnail to use in traveler to kind of give your players your travelers an idea of what the ambient world is like if it's a tech level 10 world what does that mean especially if their characters are from tech level 13 world how is that different? How is that something that you can make happen in playing? And I'm going to go ahead and show. We got our first look at these in uh, the box set from 1977. The old famous Traveler, Free Trader, Beowulf, Mayday Call. And book three shows us tech levels. Technological level, the degree of technology expertise and thus capabilities of local industry is their technology level. Technological level. They vary from 0 to 20, and actually they've expanded that, and they go 4 through 10, and then we get a nice look in this book, TAS Form 6, I used to love that. Here are the technology levels based on what you're looking for. So for weaponry, here we go. For technology levels for transportation, and that... <clears throat> So that's basically what we're going to look at. I'm going to actually stay with the uh, technology levels for uh, transportation since that's more of a, a an open thing that all of us can uh, accept and, and readily understand in Traveler. So basically, tech level zero would be canoes and rafts for uh, water travel, carts for land, no air, no space, and energy is muscle. So then we go up to tech level one would be galleys. And then tech level two you know, you're getting wind power, you're getting Tech 3 sailing ships, Tech 4 steamships, trains, dirigibles, coal, Tech 5 ground cars, Tech 6 submersibles, and then rotary wing craft fishing, hovercraft to Tech 7, hover rafts to Tech 8, 10 would be grav vehicles, grav tanks, and then you get your jump drives start appearing, actually start appearing at 9. And then at Tech 16, matter transport. Now, and our energy would be at Tech 17, antimatter. This was 1977. This was also the beginning of Traveler, where they hadn't really firmed up a lot of stuff yet. So what I recommend is when you're setting your game, even if you're using older Traveler, which I had been doing until recently, I would recommend getting the newer Traveler stuff in ebook or however you want to do it, simply to have a, a better, more modern look at tech level. So to that end, much as I love you, I'm going to say goodbye to you in our little book. We're going to go to the Traveler Core Rulebook Update. Just got this guy in the mail yesterday. Haven't even had a chance to really go through it yet. I'm pretty excited about it. I actually have to make a confession. I bought Mongoose Traveler 1st Edition. I never bought Mongoose Traveler 2nd Edition. The reason was, I thought, well, I've got first, and I've got all this old, other older stuff. Why would I need second? And the answer is, second's a big improvement, even on Mongoose first. Uh, Quality-wise, art-wise, um, a lot of other things about second are better. And I want to be, uh, I'm starting a new campaign. This will be the first new Traveler campaign I've run in a while, certainly since uh, the lockdowns started a couple of years ago. And uh, I thought, what the heck, I would move into the current iteration of Traveler, so I'm going to be starting it in Traveler 2E. So, I took a look at the 
tech levels here. And look at that, they open right to it. And the concept of tech levels runs through Traveler in most of its iterations. There are alternate Traveler universes. I'm not going to go into those right now. And tech level measures the scientific capacity of a world and the complexity and effectiveness of a piece of equipment. It starts at zero. In charted space, the most advanced scientists are probing upper boundaries of tech level 15, but most core worlds range between tech level 10 and tech level 13. On the fringes, uh, you, you can get some widely varying tech levels. And the ancients, of course, had tech levels that went just over the top and up at tech level 18, 20. Um, to give an idea of tech level, in my opinion, uh, Star Wars would land somewhere around tech level 12, maybe 13. And Star Trek would be around 17 or 18. And I know that's open to interpretation. Of necessity, tech level is an arbitrary concept. It's what you assign to it. But those are my approximate numbers. So as I'm showing my players what something is, they're all familiar with Star Wars and Star Trek. It's just easier for me to go ahead and reference those two sources and say, you know, okay, about 13. Star Trek could be 17, even arguably 18. Uh, but here we're going to take a look at what Mongoose offers us right now as current tech level. And it's even on a nice, I, I like this layout better than the little chart. So for tech level, zero, that's primitive, no technology. They've only discovered the simplest tools and principles and are on a par with Earth's Stone Age. Tech level one, primitive, roughly on a par with Earth's Bronze or Iron Age. Tech level one, science, mostly superstition, but manufacture weapons and work minerals, work metals. TL TL2, primitive, Renaissance technology. Greater understanding of chemistry, physics, biology, and anatomy, as well as the scientific method. TL3, still primitive, but you're bringing the term of, uh, germ of industrial revolution and steam power. Primitive firearms now dominate the battlefield, roughly comparable to Earth 19th century. Again, I like this because it helps when you say, okay, it's comparable to Earth in the 19th century. Everybody goes, oh, okay, that's I can understand that. Tech level four, transition to industrial revolution is complete, bringing plastics, radar, and other inventions. Roughly compared to the late 19th, early 20th century. So now we go to the TL5, industrial. Widespread electronification, telecommunications, and internal combustion. At the high end of the tech level, atomics and primitive computing appear. Roughly on a par with mid-20th century uh, Earth. That's, that would be the time I was born. So I was born at tech level 5. Tech level 6 brings the development of fission power and more advanced computing. Advances in materials, technology, and rocketry bring about the dawn of the space age. So that's pretty exciting right there. So that would be sometime going into the 60s. Actually, I, I was born in the 60s. So TL7, pre-stellar. Pre-stellar society can reach orbit reliably and has communication satellites. Computers and integrated circuits become ubiquitous. At the time of this writing, Earth is currently somewhere between tech level 7 and tech level 8. That's another reason why I wanted the latest iteration of Tech Level when I was discussing this. It tells us right here, at the time of this writing, 2022, we would be considered between Tech Level 7 and Tech Level 8. Tech Level 8 up here, pre-stellar. At TL8, it's possible to reach other worlds in the same star system, although terraforming or full colonization are not within the culture's capacity. Permanent space habitats become possible. Fusion power becomes commercially viable. Just saw a thing on... Uh, on the space station today. So, yeah, it's, this is pretty much where we are. Tech Level 9, pre-stellar. The defining elements of Tech Level 9 is the development of gravity manipulation, which makes space travel vastly safer, faster and safer. This research leads to the development of the jump drive, which occurs near the end of this Tech Level. TL9 cultures can colonize other worlds, although traveling to a colony is often a one-way trip. Now we come to early stellar, TL-10. With the advent of commonly available jump drives, nearby systems are opened up. Orbital habitats and factories become common. Interstellar travel and trade lead to an economic boom. Colonies become much more viable. TL-11, early stellar. The first true artificial intelligence becomes possible as computers are able to model synaptic networks. Grav-supported structures reach to the heavens. Jump-2 travel becomes possible, allowing easier travel beyond the jump-1 stellar mains. So we're seeing a progression here, which is exactly what TL is all about. 
So we got a tech level 12, average stellar. Planet-wide weather control revolutionizes terraforming and agriculture. Portable plasma weapons and carrier-mounted fusion guns make the battlefield untenable for unarmored combatants. Jump 3 travel is developed. TL-13, remember, we'd be somewhere right in here as ordinary travelers. TL-13, average stellar. Battle dress appears in the battlefield in response to new weapons, heralding the pinnacle of personal armor and making infantry the equivalent of less advanced armored vehicles. Cloning of body parts becomes easy. Jump 4 appears. So again, we're, we're, uh, if I would put Star Wars somewhere right around in here, maybe 14, 13 to 14. TL-14, average stellar. Fusion weapons become portable. Flying cities appear. Jump 5 drives are built. And then we go to tech level 15, high stellar. Black Globe Generator suggests a new direction for defensive technologies, while the development of synthetic anagathics means that human lifespan is now vastly increased. Higher tech levels exist. Indeed, there is no theoretical upper limit and may appear in other universes or be discovered by pioneering scientists within charted space. I'm not going to go into any spoilers, but if you've uh, read any of the uh, products that have been out referring to the ancients, and if you know who Grandfather is, you know that tech level goes very high. So that's just a quick look at what tech level is. What it does is it gives you your, your platform, your stage, on which to play Traveler. What can you do? Here we have a great picture of a guy with a flintlock pistol. And this guy's holding probably some kind of needler at this guy. Guess who's going to win that exchange? Even with a flintlock point blank on the face mask, there's a good chance... The flintlock guy is in a world of trouble here. That's what I like. In Traveler, it's very possible um, and very likely that you are going to go to tech, lower tech worlds than ones you grow up on. So tech level 15 with the high stellar would be the Imperial Navy for some of its elements, not all of it. Imperial Navy would still be between tech level 12 and 14 for most of their stuff. But they do have black globe generators on some ships. Um, and then white globe generator technology starts coming up at 16 and so forth. It's just a good way to explain to your players what the tech level is, what it, how it affects them on a daily basis, and what it means. You can run a really fun adventure where the player characters are going to a tech level 7 world. And maybe they're there you know, illegally, maybe the world is interdicted, maybe they're there as part of a trade mission. Maybe they're trying to uh, technologically uplift this world. Uh, there's any number of things you can do, but the lower level one, your players are going to tend to just go, they're lower level, their technology is inferior to mine. Well, it turns out that a gun can still kill you. And that's one thing that's fun to teach the players as they're wandering around with their Gauss rifles and everything else, and suddenly a rather primitive sidearm does them some hurt. So it can be a lot of fun. It can be an eye-opener, a bit of a shock for your players. I definitely recommend using tech level as a defining element of your uh, game background. I would absolutely have tech level for every place my, my travelers are going. Uh, you could possibly be on a tech level 12 star base station. Maybe they're going to the space station for whatever reason, and they're expecting accommodations that a tech level 14 would have. Or maybe they're even on a tech level 10 station. That could be very interesting for the travelers is how they're going to deal with it. A great look at old tech versus high tech would be, of course, Star Trek IV, when, for reasons in the story, the crew of the Enterprise, the command crew, travel back in time to 1986 in San Francisco and the primitive technology they have to deal with to make changes and upgrades to their ship and then get back home. It's an excellent film, and it's a great look at tech technological differences keeping in mind that that would be Star Trek coming from, you know, tech level 17, 18, dropping down to tech level 5 to 6. And, of course, if you want to go one further, City on the Edge of Forever would take us down into the early, early 20th century, which would put us around tech level 4. So there's just a few examples of time travel and the tech level that you can find yourselves dealing with. But in Traveler, you don't have to time travel to get those tech levels. There are plenty of worlds out there that are at that tech level. So that's it. I hope that makes tech level a little clearer. Uh, 
if you have any questions or any opinions, uh, maybe I misstate, misstated something or maybe you have a differing opinion or if you have an alternate travel universe where you've changed the tech levels, I'd be interested in hearing about it. But that's all I've got to say for today. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.